Yo guys! I just entered that video saying that because I always say, Hey guys! And I just really wanted to change it up. Yeah, I just got out of the shower. That explains my wet hair. But I decided to make a Valentine's Day tutorial because Valentine's Day is in like, what? A week? It's gonna be perfect for a date, a dance, or you can just wear it as every day, like it doesn't have to be specifically for Valentine's Day. And also, I'm gonna be using a lot of the Smashbox in the Bloom collection, um, and this was sent to us for free, and I have a review coming up soon, so if you like the products I use, just watch the review, but there will be more details on that in the review. So, just to let you know that the Smashbox products were sent to us for free, as well as Okay, so the first thing I always do is apply my lotion, the Vena lotion. Um, if you watched my foundation routine, I showed you one way of how I do my foundation, and I'm going to show you another way because if I showed you the same way, that'd be really pointless, right? I'm going to use my um, CoverGirl Fresh Complexion Concealer and just put that under my eyes. <clears throat> For some reason, my voice sounds like really cracky today. Um, next, I'm going to use my Sonia Kashuk Mineral Concealer. And I'm just going to pick some up with my Sonia Kashuk um, Concealer Brush. And I'm going to put it on spots that really need it. I'm covering it up and then I'm going to blend it in later. Next, I'm going to take my Sonia Kashuk Flat Top Brush. In my last um, foundation routine, I used this brush and then I used the sponge. But today, I'm just going to use this. Just to show you guys, like, different ways of doing it. My Fit Me foundation, my color is 310. I mentioned this in my last video and everyone was like, what color are you? And it's like, I said, 310, so. And I just go, like, around the outside of it, like this. And I'll just pick up some and I just put it in. My skin. And I'm blending out my concealer like as I'm doing this. Or sometimes I go in like this. It picks up a lot. Okay, so then I just blend it in. My NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer. This is in the color Sunny. I usually would use this as my face powder, but my skin's just not that dark right now. So I'm going to just take some on the same brush and I'm just going to use it as my contour and on my uh, foundation routine everyone was like you can't start contouring from here and bring it up you have to bring it here down and for some reason I just like didn't do that in my video um, I was aware that like that's what you should do but I just didn't because it will really deepen up your um, cheekbones okay and then for my powder I'm going to take the Sonia Kashuk powder the sheer mineral powder foundation it has a little sifter so I usually just shake it upside down like this and then some product will come out yeah there's the product. I actually really like this, so I just pick some up from the, the lid on my brush and I just kind of pat it on my face and blend it. This will just set your foundation. Um, I was going to use my Smashbox In The Bloom blush. This is a like cream cheek duo and then I was like, I use this in my foundation routine if anyone wants to know how to use it. So yeah. I'm not going to like show you how to use it again because I have another product that I'm going to use instead. I'm going to take my Sonia Kashuk blush. This is in the color pink. Can you imagine that? In the color pink. But it's like pink 14. I don't know if that means anything. I'm just going to pick some up on my Walmart blush brush, which I actually really like. So, Walmart, I might come back and get more brushes from you. I just take some Sephora Blush Me Blush and I pick some of this up on the same brush. And I use this as a highlight and just kind of see it right here. Because it's like shimmery, so I wouldn't wear that as a full blush. I just like it as like a little thing right here. And it, in person, it just really makes my face glow. As always, we apply our primer potion, Urban Decay. Just put that on our lid. And I'm going to be using the Smashbox um, In The Bloom eyeshadow palette. It has these awesome colors. So as I said before, this is going to be in my reviews. And then I'm going to be using the brush that came with it. This is the Smashbox, just an eyeshadow brush. Um, it came right here. And the first color I'm going to take is this light, light pink up here. It's like a baby pink. 
And with these shadows, they are like so smooth. Like if you um, rub the brush in it a little, it will pick up so much. So make sure to tap it off so you don't get a lot of excess. And I'm just going to tap this, the inner half of the eye. And it isn't that pigmented, so just keep layering it. Okay. And then I'm going to take this pink in the middle. It's like a shimmery. It has kind of gold shimmers in it. I'm going to take this from the middle and drag it all the way out. And then for the last color, I'm going to take my Sonia Kasha crease brush. Crease brush. Crease brush. <laughs> I can never say crease brush. Um, I'm just going to take this shimmery um, brown right here. Just take a little because this brush is pretty big so you don't want to get it all over the place. And just sweep it into my crease. And then I'm going to take my blending brush by Sonia Kashuk. The two brushes I just used, these two, were not sent to me. And neither was the flat top brush. Um, but yeah. And now I'm going to take this brush. This was not sent to me either. Um, I'm going to take this nice creamy white color. It's perfect for a highlight. I love using this as a highlight. So I'm just going to pat it up here. Right under my eyebrow. Like that. And then take a little bit and just pat it on the inner half too. This brush is like wide so I um, put it on its side and just kind of sweep over this. It will blend it pretty much. Okay and then I'm going to take my Sonia Kashuk palette. This is um, an eyeshadow quad in purple haze. It's so pretty. It has all these shiny um, eyeshadows. There's like purple, pink, brownish green, and white. Um, I'm going to take this pink color on just any eyeshadow brush and just pick up some of it. My eyelid right like here. It's optional. You really don't have to do that. The pink actually comes out almost purple. So this is a pinky purple, so I guess that makes sense. I like this though. And then the next thing I'm going to use is the Smashbox Soft Focus Powder Eyeliner. This is in the color Dark Brown. Just shake it a little. This is like such a weird thing. It's like a little thing with powder on it. It's really weird. I'll talk about it in the review as well. It's going to line the top lash line. And then for eyeliner, I'm going to take this Cool Effects uh, Maybelline. This is in the color Cold as Ice. And I'm going to line like the inner half of my eye, my waterline. That's optional as well because that really like makes your eye like sparkly. So if you don't want that, then don't do it. And then if you want, you can take your black liner. This is Revlon Color Stay. And like line the outside half. Now I'm going to curl my lashes, so I'm going to catch eyelash curler. I'm not as skilled at it as you may think. And then I just separate my lashes because sometimes when I curl them they get kind of stuck together. So I'm going to take my Great Lash Mascara. Don't forget your bottom lashes too. You don't want to have really long lashes on the top and then nothing on the bottom. Trust me girl. Ignore this eye. This eye I totally messed up on, so just look at this one, because this is the one that actually looks pretty okay. Moisturize my lips with a chapstick, which is EOS Lip Balm. I usually blend it in with my finger, too. And then I'm going to take my um, Sonia Kashuk lipstick. It's in the color Soft Pink. The color looks pretty much exactly like what the cap does, which is good if you're shopping for it, so... I'm going to apply this. I like this color because it's like the same color as my lips pretty much. So it just kind of enhances that color. Finishing touch, I'm going to take this Smashbox Limitless Long Wear Lip Gloss. It has SPF 15 if anyone's wondering. Um, and I'm going to put this on. This is in the color Timeless. This is such a pretty like 
baby pinkish nude color and the applicator is really cool. I'll talk about it in my review as I said before. And it's basically almost the same color as the lipstick so it's very complimenting. And that's the look! Before I go, I'm just gonna say it's, you can switch it up to be whatever you want. When I'm doing a tutorial, I don't I'm not saying like do exactly this, use exactly the products that I used. I'm just saying like this is a look that I like. Um and yeah. So tell me what you guys think. Try it out and peace.